Hey you everybody, how are you all doing today and welcome back to part number 7 of the SSX 2012 Let's Play. Now in the last episode we finished Antarctica, we had kind of a tough time with the cold, but this time we're heading towards a previously unexplored continent. Let's check out Africa for today's episode. Alright team, here's where things get interesting. Our next stop is Africa with the key descent here being Kilimanjaro. This is the last place you'd expect anyone to bring a snowboard to. But the unexpected is what SSX does best. Listen hard, Mac, because you've been tasked with this one. Inside these mountains is a network of tunnels where proper route planning and gear will mean all the difference between a party at base camp and a letter home to your folks. The darkness in these tunnels is often impenetrable without headlamps. So make sure you're always looking where you're going. Because the minute you turn your head and take your eyes off your line, well, let's just say that things can go bad down there before you even know you've made a mistake. All right, Zoe, so we've got darkness going. And it's an active volcano, so... That's one way that Africa is very much different. All right, so... Let's race Mac. All right, so I think I do remember uh, Africa being quite different from the others in the way that it's, you know, in the way that it's kind of, it's interesting. I feel like I remember there being lots of just plain and simple gaps that are bridged only by red rails. So we'll have to uh, make good use of the red rails, I think, in this, in this section. But we'll have to see. Now, what was that? Now, anyways, uh, before that mess all happened, between this and last time, I've actually looked up some stuff, because when I started playing this game, I was like, okay, we'll try to play it without me fully knowing the controls, it'll be more fun that way. And it was, but now that we're this into the, this deep into the game, it's getting kind of, it's getting kind of lame not being able to get on a rail or terrain on demand, or, you know, constantly duplicating my tricks. So I've checked out a few things about the controls, and now I most likely actually know what I'm doing as far as controls are concerned. Anyway, I remember this area being quite cool, and I'm also excited about being able to play as, being able to play as Mac, because he has, as far as I'm aware, the highest trick stat, and I am all about the tricks in this game. As long as you don't, like, I don't think tricks are that fun if you're going to be doing the riding off a wall stuff. But if you're not, then tricks are great and very fun. One bad part about this, though, is that obviously it's a cave or tunnel or whatever you'd like to call this. So the ceiling is kind of an ever, an ever present danger because <laughs> you can just hit it out of nowhere. I think, I was thinking about it, if, so it turns out how the grab buttons work in this game is that it's not like SSX3, which I'm surprised by, it's like SSX3 on the PlayStation, not on the Xbox, because on the Xbox version of SSX3 you have, you have grabs on like X, B, and Y, but apparently that's not the case in this game where you've actually got them on the bumpers, which are equivalents to L1 and R1. Which is very nice, I like it a lot, but I just didn't know it until now. I also know that you now have to press Y to uh, to get onto and carve terrain, so that's also a nice little pickup. Man, this is a long run. We're doing alright though, we're in the lead by quite some way I think. Yeah, just keep the booze, just go fast. So it'll be interesting to see what Africa has to uh, what Africa has to offer. All of these tunnels. I do think I remember Kilimanjaro being quite hard. Maybe that's not right, but I feel like I remember that. I guess we'll see. Great riding, Mac. Now I need you to bring it hard on each and every run. You're up against some pretty unusual terrain in Africa. And I'm getting you trained and ready for Kilimanjaro. Oh, and getting you trained. 
It's going to take everything you've got. Alright, Mac. Yeah, all the friends, no doubt. Alright, a little bit of trick competition. I can get on board with that, especially as Mac. This is going to be fun. Anyways, so I was thinking about it. If that's how the trick system works, then logically I should probably be like... I should do like a one-button grab, and then a two-button grab, and then a three-button grab, and just rotate, right? So that was one, now two... That way, in theory, if I just stick to that formula, I should never get a repeat. Right? I think that ought to work just fine, right? That'll be fine. Alright, so we are in a bit of a bad spot. Here we go. So many tunnels and caves. Okay, so for instance then, that's one. Now we'll make it two. I think that system is going to work just fine, yeah. I think it's going to work uh, just fine. Okay, that's going to be a duplicate. Oh, no, it's not. All right, cool. Oh, where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. I do think Trixus Max is going to be fun, though. This is my first recording session in a little while. It's going to be uh, fun to see what tonight brings. Ah, oh, crap. I actually had to... Well, where is he going? This is like a fall in steep, for crying out loud. I actually had to uh, completely and utterly restart my internet before starting this. Because, for some reason, sometimes I have to restart my internet to make it work. Like, to make this work properly. Also, this is really bad. I'm on zero multiplier. That's no good. I want trick character to boot. Gotta pick it up. Alright, start holding a combo. I'm forgetting all about what I actually have to do. <laughs> so I think I found out that board presses work a little strangely in that they kind of... Yeah, they're very useful for keeping combo, but the more of them you do, the shorter the combo will take to tick down. So like, if I do three of them and then I all of a sudden let go then it's going to uh, it's going to be bad news so that's very interesting that's kind of crappy but we'll see if that ends up coming into play hopefully not it is kind of interesting though that they decided to to put the trick character in an area like this where it's pretty much all indoors or you know with a ceiling for lack of better words Where you just can't, you can't harness all of his skills. Also, that's going to mean we don't get first, I think. Knock down two opponents. I didn't try to, but I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. A little bit of lag as well. All right. Maybe I can make a late comeback. Who knows? We shall see. I'm down to seven multiplier again, which is not great. I keep just crashing into the... Keep crashing into the cavern ceiling. Yeah, this is gonna take a lot if I'm if I'm to recover this for sure. Duplicate trick? Why? Because I hit that. Come on now. Why well, you gotta be like that? Yeah. All right. Well, fair enough. You're impressed. I mean, it's second place. Wait, what? 
Received under 100k. Alright, well. Nice. It's not an easy ride out there, but it seems you're really getting the vibe of Africa. Keep it going, because you've got... You've only got one more drop to prepare for the deadly descent. There's a run on Meru, with conditions close to those inside Kilimanjaro, that Griff used when he was here. I managed to get his ghost status, so beat his time, and I'll know you're ready for the deadly descent. Okay, only one more run. Well. Let's see what's next. Mwenzi. So apparently uh, the characters are like, apparently the characters are like, there's, I'm only, the best I'm going to be able to do is just to use their base gear, because I'm not really leveling any of them up through the, through the main mode. Also I think logically, with the nature of the headlamp and all, I should probably kind of just go and avoid and avoid doing all the tricks. I'll try to get super tricky at the very least. There you go. Thank you. Then we'll just hang around. Try to use the headlamp like a good... Like a good SSX rider. Griff's in the lead currently. Can't have that. Alright, where else can I go? That's gonna be a chasm. Mm. I seem really good at jumping into these. But these looks like this looks like it could be a shortcut. No? No shortcut? If anything, I think I lost time by going that way. Alright, well... Let's get some... Get some points, Mac. Well, not points, but... Let's get boosts. Points are kind of a side effect. Also, this stinks. Can I save this? No, I don't think so. No, you can. Just gotta turn that way. Alright, cool. But Griff is way ahead. Now, there is a lot of the run left, so I might actually be able to catch up, but... It, I would be lying if I said it's looking particularly good. Um, guess we'll have to see what I can do with this. Keep falling into these chasms, too. Alright. I need to let go of boost a lot more frequently, I think. I think that that's going to make a, a good difference. Guess we'll see. Look at me. Right now... How could I have known there would have been a chasm there? Come on now. Okay, yeah, just right on the wall, that's fine. 27, 26 seconds behind. I think this is probably going to have to be a restart. It's looking like it, but we'll, we'll try to save it towards the back half. We'll see. Rail, see rail. Alright, yeah, that's going to be a restart then. Alright, avoid jumping into nothingness this time, shall we? There you go, Mac. Get tricky. What? Okay, no tricky. I lost it because I crashed, I suppose. Yeah. His high tricks, that's so good, though. I love it. Oh, that was a bad idea. What? I've gone inside of the obstacle. Don't know how I did that, but... Yeah, this isn't the best of starts. Um, how far ahead is he? Like 10 seconds already? Hmm. Not great. You should probably just chill and take it slow for these. Since the whole darkness thing. At least I basically get free tricky right at the start, so that's neat. I approve of that. And if I could get free super tricky as well, that'd be cool. Okay, well that's my fault. Fair enough that. And then don't go into the chasm. Thank you. Okay, he's only got a slight lead for now, which is good. I can take slight lead, that's fine. Don't know where I'm going. No. No! <laughs> what is this, happiness jam? I don't want to be doing that. Okay, good. I wonder if boost even is, is worth it in this track. It looks like I'm having a bad time every time I'm trying to get it. Maybe I should just rely on the flares. I think that might be a good idea. Well, this isn't looking good, is it? Maybe one more time? 
jump back on the track. Wow, it actually worked once, but not twice. All right, I will change my approach. We won't care about boost. Not as much, at least. Don't care about it. It's all about just taking the right path, staying out of the chasms, and just trying to be fast with whatever resources you got. Whatever, however little or however much that would be. Well, it's going much better so far, at least. Yeah, it can just take jumps like that and get boost off of. I think this entire area, all of Africa, probably isn't built for boost, is it? Oh, chasm. Probably doesn't help, though, that my screen's actually relatively dark. Might not be able to see anything at all. Like, even compared to normal. Okay, so there are no flares down there, but... Again, long as I'm not making mistakes, we're looking alright. But there I go, making a mistake. And another. Now he's in the lead. But not by that much. Okay, it's becoming gradually more and more. <laughs> right, just stay on this, this thin little platform thing. Thank you. Alright. Where's he gone? He's gone over this way. I try to keep up. Seven seconds. You know, that's catchable. Alright, stay up. Where are we going? So many caverns everywhere. Not much going on. I never claimed to be super good. I'm also seeing these. Uh oh. Ugh, tried to jump onto it. Didn't work. Nah, that's really bad then. That's gonna be another restart. This is difficult. Either that or I just do not know where to go or what to do. <laughs> Could be that as well. Fully possible. I'm kind of relying on red rails a lot. I feel like I feel like they're very helpful, but they aren't everywhere, and that's that's part of the problem I'm having. Alright, slow here. Yeah. You know, with how I've discussed how the how the turning is in this game, it kinda makes sense that it's problematic to to stay on thin ridges like these. Because we're so so strangely sensitive. I'm doing good for the moment. But you know you know what it's like. It's in the it's in like the back half that women getting trouble. That's where it's been going completely haywire. Alright, this is a nice pass. Slow, but nice. It's safe. That's all I all I care about. That will do. Alright, cool. Don't worry about any of that. Yeah, just use your headlamp for now. I shouldn't be doing tricks here. Alright, good. We're fine. Alright. Uh, where are we going? Caught a couple of flares. I'm looking for suitable places to jump and go for boost, but not having any luck so far. This just looks like a bit of a wasteland. This might be a jump. Uh oh. No! Why do I always jump into the chasm? Like, I jump, and then by jumping, I put myself in the chasm when sometimes I wouldn't even have gotten into it normally if I wasn't jumping okay surely this time right Man, darkness is tough yeah <laughs> you scared of the darkness I'm not but after this I might just be uh oh I think I have seconds please just don't overtake me right at the end just go this way. Get some boost whenever you can, right? Flare, flares are good. Me taking flares. I wonder if they take them away from him. I think they do. All right, we're looking good. Thank you. There we are. What a run! Unfortunately, we're going to have to hold off on celebrating. 
I heard that after finally bagging Everest, Griff is determined, more than ever, to take the lead from Team SSX. He's racked up three more deadly descents in one weekend alone. We're too close to the end to let him get ahead of us again. The time to conquer Kilimanjaro is now. Well, Griff's definitely working hard then. Alright, Kilimanjaro. This is it, Mac. Griff is closing in fast. We missed this deadly descent and we could fall behind him again. That can happen. Well, I'm on the case. I like how the little pre deadly descent tooltip told me to avoid spinning and flipping. <laughs> One! Oh god, what a drop. Okay. So since this obviously isn't an event, I can just chill, you know? No point to really... No point in really worrying about stuff. I think... I don't know, maybe it's unrealistic to maybe want to do this without rewinds. Eh, I'll keep... I'll keep no rewind deadly descents for after game content, I think. Because I do know for a fact I want to do that. Okay, that wasn't a dead end. That's good. Is there a way to turn my headlamp that doesn't involve turning me? I don't think there is. There's no way you can turn your head without turning your body, eh? Alright, well. That's fine by me. Hug the outside on this. Wonderful. What's this? Okay. Oh. Keep your seatbelt on and get ready for for lots of darkness, apparently. Red rails are kinda of your friends, I would I would imagine. Well, kinda and kinda not, because you end up turning your headlamp when you're on a rail, so. It kind of makes a more tricky situation out of everything, really. Oh, so far so good. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I gotta keep it a little stylish, you know? Just a little bit. Uh, okay, just an open area. I was thinking maybe there would be a, a gap right near the end, but turns out that's not the case, which is neat. I can carve this, thank you. Oh, chill. Good save. Yeah, you see how just doing spins and flips just absolutely throws the the headlamp into into orbit essentially but it's fun that's a shame it's gonna be good to actually have Mac unlocked though there was one time so I go into explore to uh, to get the thumbnails for these videos and I actually accidentally unlocked Griff whoops oh, I was so close to making it without having to rewind that sucks oh well so close well, we're basically right at the end, so... Well, he says... Please don't let this happen, come on now. Surely not. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, that wasn't that bad. I wonder what that would be like with no headlamp. Would it be exclusively just memory-based? I would imagine so, right? Alright few people in the world could do what you just did. I don't want to dampen the mood right now, but Griff is really starting to put the pressure on us. We're so close to the end, and I know Team SSX can win it all. Yeah, that went surprisingly well. Restarted more times on a base event than I did on the actual real thing. <laughs> But anyway, that is going to do it for today. So next time, as you can see, we've only got the Alps left. And then after that, I know we're going to unlock New Zealand. So 
Alps are up next. Where we'll be playing as the crazy man Simon. Well, they made look very differently in this game, but you know, they redid all the characters. But that is going to do for today. So it's been a good episode today, everyone. Thank you all so very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Have an absolutely bang up rest of your day. Take care and goodbye.